Hello and welcome to my new video, How to Draw an Ellipse. This drawing is based on a famous drawing by the 15th century Italian artist Paolo Di Cello. Di Cello was one of the pioneers of visual perspective. Perspective is a way of depicting three-dimensional space on a two-dimensional surface. An ellipse is a circle seen from its side from an angle. All ellipses are oval in shape and are symmetrical, meaning you can draw a line down the center and they should be the same on either side. So for this drawing I start by drawing an ellipse at the top of the page and then a slightly larger ellipse towards the base of the page and then a smaller ellipse towards the lower half of the page and then I draw my line of symmetry down the centre. From this I need to match up whatever I do on the left hand side to the right and vice versa. So I'm drawing the sprayed base of the shape and putting in several more ellipses and it's good to practice ellipses by doing them again and again. And for a drawing like this, with the angle that we are at to the vase that we're looking, all the ellipses should be roughly the same as each other. This is because the vase that we are drawing is quite a short, small object, and therefore our point of view doesn't change greatly. If it was a tower, then you'd have to put your head up and look up, or put your head down and look down at the base of it. And therefore the ellipses on a very tall thing would be quite different to each other. But because this is quite a small object seen at a quite a near distance, that's not the case. And now it's time to draw some of the outline silhouette of this vase, looking carefully at the original drawing by Uccello and looking at the shape of the curve of either side and checking that one side looks roughly the same as the other side because it's always going to be a vase which is symmetrical. So if I have drawn both sides, then I tend to just choose the side that looks best and then maybe erase some of the marks on the other side so that it matches up. Now it's time to darken some of these elliptical lines, paying attention to how they curve around at the left and right hand sides. And now I'm also trying to match up so that I can create some sense of form. So rather than just being abstract ellipses, they become actually part of a shape of an object. So to do that I need to pay careful attention to how one shape reacts to another shape within this object. So for example some of the ellipses are almost like a shape within a shape and some of them have a thickness to the ellipse and some of them don't because they sort of overhang. Later on in this drawing I'm going to draw the contour lines over the whole thing because that's what Uccello did in his original drawing. But in this case it's just a matter of matching out one side of this vase to the other side looking at the quality of the lines to some extent and the shape of the edge corners of the vase although the ellipses shouldn't really have corners because they'll always be an oval. Quite soon I'll speed up this drawing I'll just use a razor just to clean some of the lines that I don't need. The original drawing took me about half an hour so I'll start speeding up the video from this stage onwards. I'm putting down the contour lines for the shape of the vase now. These are the lines which are similar to the lines of silhouette, but as they come more towards the center of the line of symmetry, they get more and more as a straight line. And as they go away from the center straight line line of symmetry, they become more like the line of the silhouette. So in a sense, if you imagine like a spherical football and drawing a line around it, it would be a straight line, but it also wouldn't be a straight line because it would be curving around the curve of the football. So these lines are vertical lines and horizontal lines, which are either curving vertically around the shape of the vase in a vertical way, or curving horizontally in a series of multiple ellipses around the shape of the vase that has been pre-drawn. So at this stage, I speed it up quite a lot because it's just a matter of placing them in one by one either side, making sure that they work, making sure that they work with the line of symmetry. So whatever I do on one side, I make sure again that I do on the other side of the line of symmetry. Making sure also that the lines are readable from the top of the vase looking down, that each line would be a continuous contour line going all the way through and then the lines which are horizontal also have that sense of matching all the previous earlier elliptical lines that we drew at the earlier stage and then just to finish off this drawing at the very end all I need to do is just make the line of symmetry darker down the center 
I hope you found this drawing useful for your own drawing and I hope that it was useful to understand some of the aspects of ellipses. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel Circle Line Art School for many more art videos.